We are in the spectroscopy lab where we study our structures called quantum dots. So these quantum dots are a tiny bits of semiconductor material which emits, uh, for example, light. And that light is, can be described only by very strange quantum mechanical laws. And uh, there is a very big application for that kind of light. And so one specific example is a quantum computation. So this is a future technology, which unfortunately is very hard to build. And the main reason is that quantum objects are very fragile. So they tend to lose their environment, their quantum properties, and um, they practically become useless. So typically that kind of labs are designed to minimize these problems. And in that kind of lab, we typically find some sort of fridge. Uh, in scientific terms, it's called a cryostat. And, and that, for example, helps to, to, to get rid of those problems by cooling the sample. And once the sample is cold, the quantum properties are very, uh, become very pronounced. Uh, so here we have our, one, of, one of the cryostats where we can place our sample and study its properties. So typically the study of these properties is done introducing some sort of perturbation. So this could be uh, current, this could be laser, and in the, our lab we typically would use uh, lasers, and some of them are as trivial as laser pointers, which you can buy anywhere, and the other ones are way more sophisticated uh, scientific instruments. So for example at my back there is a uh, energy tunable laser which uh, allows us engineer the laser light and by engineering that light we can probe, we can control the properties of these our quantum dots. So typically we would be sending that laser to the cryostat and seeing the response of the quantum dot. The usual response is that uh, the quantum dot emits light. So all that set up is our built huge bulk microscope where we can collect that light and see its properties. So typically we'd be using conventional charge coupled devices to see the properties of the light and also we use very specific built for the purpose detectors like for example like this one which is a single photon detector and uh, this detector is special because it enables detecting and showing the quantum properties of the light so specifically, it proves that the light, once emitted from the quantum dot, is emitted in a very portion, small portions of light called photons. And these photons can be used in the quantum computation. Um, the whole picture can be way more complicated. Those these photons, which act as single particles, can create networks, uh, which can be then used in the quantum computation. So this is the future technology, and this is what we are working on.